It's that fused glass. Hey, look at that. Ooh, it is fused. It's not signed, but for a dollar, I will get that. Alright, I am at Salvation Army in Colony, New York. I want to thank you everybody for um, joining us at our live sale with Avon Thrifty Rich. And it was nice to meet Kate, follow that bug vintage. And make sure you watch all the way to the end because I'm going to show you some footage that I got at the restore. Well, at least the snow finally stopped. Hey, let's see what's over here. See some pottery. Oh, look at that. It's signed Hillborn for $5.99. You put that in. Um, oh, what about this? Party light? <laughs> and we have a Mary. It's a hobbyist piece for $3.99. And what about this mixing bowl? It's definitely worn out. Vintage charm by Pyrex. Inspired by Pyrex. Hmm. All right. Oh, what about this teapot? I already see some chips, but let's take a look. Flowers, ink, balloons. Let me go over here. These are kind of cool. That's party light too. Can uh, tea light holders. That looks like it could be um. Blue Ridge. No, it's not. It's hand painted though. Royal Norfolk. Okay. Now let's take a look at these two mugs. They look like they could be the Jars France. Made in China, so they're not. Kind of cool though. I like the glaze on the inside. This teapot. Or clever choice, Los Angeles. Oh, look at the cute little chick. Chickity chick. $3.99. Hmm. Let's stroll down the aisle. What about this creamer? Made in China. I like the style on that. All right, let's go down here. I had to go the other way. Is that plastic? Yep. <laughs> if that wasn't plastic, I probably would pick that up. Let's see. Hope I'm not going too fast. Huh, here's some pottery. Jeez, I'm on a pottery kick today. It says B. I don't think that's Blue Mountain. How much is that? $2.99? I'm gonna put that in. Look at two pottery pieces. Ooh, what about that mug? Made in Japan. Oh, here's a cool teapot. Oh, look how pretty that is. $4.99. Oh, it has a hummingbird on it. It had a sticker on there. How much is that? Four ninety nine. It's kind of neat. You know what? I'm gonna put that in and look it up later. Cause that is really pretty. And it seems like it's higher quality. Like a lot of detail on it. Here's a satin green vase, a bud vase. It's only a dollar. Um, when I pick it up and feel it, it's not really that great quality. Even though it's a dollar, I'm still not gonna pick that up. We have these figurines. I think I looked at these before. The hand is broken. Ethan Allen, American Traditional Interiors for $6.99. Yeah, both her um, fingers are broken off. What's that? 1897 it's crystal. Hmm. What about this angel? This one. Oh, that's Mary. 
made in China for $4.99. Where's the, whoops, don't break. Now what about Mary? Oh, the halo is um, broken off and it's left in. Oh well, these usually sell pretty fast for us. I wanna see what is in the vases. Looks like they added more. It's a little bit, it's FTD. Hmm. What about these? Plastic. All right. Oh, what about these vases? I think they're just a uh, mass produced glass. It's still pretty though. Almost reminds me of a uh, back rat. Ah. Ooh, is this an owl? Ooh, it is. Look at it. It's a wind chime. And it has glass. It's. I mean, it's probably newer. Let me tap it. Yeah, that's glass for $2.99. I think I'll do that. It's pretty. There we go. I'm debating whether, whether I want to get this wooden wall plaque for our, our booth case. We could put it on the bottom shelf. It's $5.99. I'm just trying to think if people up north, like Lake George, they like the wood, the Adirondack type style, but that's not really Adirondack. Hmm, it's $5.99. Here's one of those made in Spain dolls. It has some, is that felt? I'm not sure about it's three nine nine. What are the colors? Um, the green is a dollar forty nine. I don't see any damage. I'll get her. A little Spanish lady. There's probably an actual name for them, but I'm not sure what they're called. Oh, there's more vases. These are probably from a wedding. All I see is Nicole. Los Angeles. Look at this wax bird. <laughs> it's a candle. It has um, beads on it. That's kind of neat. Let me see if it smells. No, there's no smell to it. I don't really want to ship a candle though because it, it could possibly melt during the shipment. What is that for? Definitely um, looks French. Ooh. Ooh, look at that stamp. Royal. Oh, it's Bohemian for $6.99. I don't see any damage. Yep, right on the hat. Oh my gosh. Uh, pop that back. But, ooh, I do see a Costa Boda snowball for $1.99. They sell. I think one for like $15, I want to say. Yeah, I'll get that. Might be a pain to get the um, candle out. Put that in for $2. I love finding those because they do sell kind of fast for us. Yeah, let me put that back right up there. Hey, now I'm wondering about this. <laughs> I don't know too much about toys. That's newer, probably um, early 2000s maybe. I don't know. Oh wow, there's more pottery. Yes, I love it. It has a jewel on it. Um, It's probably newer. That definitely looks more contemporary. For $3.99, I gotta leave it. Even though I do like the jewels on it. Yeah. That could be something that was sold at, um, what is that place called? Hobby Lobby. Now we're in Mugland. <laughs> Got the Rose Amish. Um, nothing's really popping out. Maybe this pink mom. Let me see what that Santa says. It looks a little different. Made in China. It looks like an older Santa. Get the Oktoberfest. 
It's a trinket dish. I like how cool that is. Yep, and there's a, I already see some damage. Yeah, that's too much damage to get. Let's see about this platter underneath. Those plastic plates, ooh. I like the blue on it. It's made in England for $4.99. I like the orange on it, and then it has the royal blue, the gold. What is this contraption? <laughs> it says made it in Japan. Hmm, maybe put uh, oil and vinegar on the sides. I don't know, I kind of like it though. It's $1.99. What about this platter or dish down here? Oh, that's very thin. Okay, put that back. Dude, look at the bunny. It's a chocolate bunny. Looks like somebody may have tried biting into it. It's a hobbyist. For 99 cents, there's some damage. Hey, what about these black and clear mugs? It's glass. There's a certain um, company that made this type of style, but this is like the off-brand. It feels kind of cheap. Some Christmas glasses. Oh, look at the cute baby. Beep, 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 beep. Does it blink? Ooh, it does. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna do another look around and see if I missed anything. So I decided I'm gonna leave the wood, the wood plaque. Um, I just don't think that would sell good at the antique mall where in. So it's okay if I leave it. Someone will get it for themselves. Did I miss any, um... Ah! I wanted to look at this. It's pretty. Are those lilacs? Made in China for $1.99. Hmm. I wonder if that is antique. I don't think it is. That would definitely be discolored. And... Oh, he's crying. I just noticed that. <laughs> I'm gonna set you up right there. Ah, I wouldn't mind this um, for home so we could pick up more clothing. That'd be good to get pictures. Got the fanny. That's not for sale though. I just realized it. <laughs> Okay, so this teapot is made by Gantz. Um, some people have it listed for $12 and some $30. There are no sold comps, so I'm going to have to put that back. All right, I looked around about three times. This is everything we're getting. The two pottery pieces, the owl wind chime, the coast about a snowball, and the Spain lady. Let's go check out. see if there is anything new. Oh, there's those. I think I showed everybody these last time. They don't sell for too much, but I like that pattern. Hey, what about this lamp? Oh, look at that lamp. Hmm. $60. Now, what about that? Is it Italian? How much is that? $12. I think it is signed. Eh, I can't read it. It looks like Hank to me. <laughs> oh wait, let's take a look at these um, salt and pepper shakers. Ooh, look at the jack in the pulpit. It's just a clear. But if they're signed, I would get those. Look at those. Look how fun they are. $15 for the pair. I wonder who makes them. I wonder what character that is. Hmm. It looks like the same guy and he's wearing a wig. I might have to look at those a little bit later. Let me see what is over here. 
Ooh, some pottery. Ooh, this sign on the bottom, $6, I think. I'll do that, because we do pretty good with pottery. Is that fused glass? Hey, look at that. Ooh, it is fused. It's not signed, but for a dollar, I will get that, and I might list it on eBay, or I might put it in the booth, and I could sell it for cheap. I think I might have to get a cart. Hold on. All right, got my cart. Let me see what is over here. Anything new? That's a Millifiori. It's still 50. Nothing there. All right, I'm looking at too much. My eyes are... Ooh, what about these salt and pepper shakers? Oh, look at that. They're crystal. They're $3 each. Even the top is um, either glass or crystal. Oh, there's a name. Made in West Germany. I think I'll do that. Put those in. And of course, I'm going to look it over for chips before I check out. Those are pretty. Okay, so one of the staff members pointed this mug out. It is a shaving mug. But it has a chip right there, right near the top of the handle. It says Germany CT. I always forget what the CT means. I'm still tempted to get it for $2, but I can't keep getting broken items. I'm so tempted to get it. Um, there's that blue set. $10, Homer Laughlin. I like the blue with the gold. Let me see about this pottery. Um, looks like it'd be from the 80s or 90s. Ooh, it's signed. Let me see. Ah, wrong way. The Pottery Dalton, Pennsylvania for $3. Um, we have a hard time selling that type of color. So I'm going to leave it. I right, here's these two cute shell trinket boxes for two dollars each i kind of like those some mi uh, missing shells i don't really see too high resale value on those so i'm gonna leave them for somebody that wants them for themselves i should just put some new items out Ooh, what is this mug? Oh, there's a turtle on it. I thought it was maybe something made in Finland from a distance that I sold something before in the past. Ooh, some restaurant wear. I think that's a common. Oh, the buffalo. That's a good um brand to pick up by the pattern. It only matters about the pattern. So you have those are 75 cents. I mean, this pattern is different. That's Syracuse. I don't know about... Yeah. Sleep with the dogs. <laughs> okay, I'm not seeing anything in the mugs. Let me go over here. Take a look at these dishes. Let's see who made that. Ooh. How much are they? They're two dollars each. Two, four, there's three dinner plates. I think I'll do those. All right, I figured I would do a quick research on this. There's only um, one sold listing for the butter plates, or the bread and butter plates for um, $12 for two of them. So I think I'm gonna leave them. It seems like something that would sit. Look at these dishes. Lady Angelic, Royal Albert. Hmm. I know Royal Albert is good to pick up. Let me see how much those are. I don't, she, I don't think she priced these yet, but I'm gonna ask. Oh, the Snorataki, the Magenta. 
Nor talking upon. Looking for the red mark. George Foreman. <laughs> I remember when those were extremely popular. That's a ceramic. USA, California. For $18. I say we go check out the figurines. There might be something new. Got the man and the angel bear. <laughs> oh, let's see how many of those. Oh, Teddy Angels. Oh. Alright, nothing. That's um a replica of Campo de Monte. Ooh, look at the silhouette people. Or men. Andrew Jackson. It's a lithograph. For 15. Hmm. We got John. Ooh, look at his hair. <laughs> they got this guy. $15 each. And there's one down here. Oh, there's a whole bunch. See, I'm not sure how much I could get for those, though. That 15 each. Ooh, look at that. Cries of London for 20. Let me see if there's a date on it. Now. Alright, I am not seeing anything else, but I'm getting the crystal salt and pepper shakers, the fused glass dish, and the art pottery. Okay, so my total spend at the restore was about $14. I already forgot. Um, at Salvation Army, it was $19. I can't wait to research that large pottery dish. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed because YouTube always has glitches and they unsubscribe some people. And don't forget, next Wednesday is our monthly live sale with Avon Thrifty Rich at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So come by and check us out. I'm going to go home and try to list some of these items and I'll see everybody next time. Bye!